hello guys i'm sally welcome to my channel today we are going to do a pick a card reading what does he wants to say to you what does your person want to say to you so this is pound number one this is pound number two this is pound number three and this is pound number four so take your time look at the stones and pick the one that is calling out to you the most so that being said Let's put three, two, and four aside. So let's see. I have not seen the cards. So when I'm going to turn the cards over, as you're seeing it, that's when I'm seeing it as well. I've not seen it before now. So let's put this aside. This is power four aside. This is power number three aside. And this is power number two aside. Let's put these cards aside and see. So for those that pick power one, so power one, let's look at your card. Those that pick the green stone, this green stone. So let me keep it here. Yeah, so this is power one. So let's see what we have in the cards. So we have, I have messages here from your person. I'm going to keep it aside. When I lay the tarot card, then I'll lay this one out later. So let's see. So we have... Um, Meditate and contemplate from Monology Oracle. Then we have Celebration Dance from Earth Magic. Then we have a man here with number 28 from Gilded Lemonade Oracle. So from third card, we have the seven of wands. We have the four of sword. And then we have the magician. <clears throat> so let's see from these messages here. Let's see what we have here. We have betrayal. Yeah, let me keep it where you can see. Let me move this. Okay, so we have betrayal as the first card. We have um, divine mask, divine mask line. We have X. Mm -hmm. So we have I don't deserve you. We have my life is full of daydream. We have I always fall asleep with you in my heart. We have please don't leave. We have I'm obsessed with you. And we have I'm focusing on myself right now. So let's see. What does this person want to say to you? I'd like to start where you could be dealing with them. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let me see one, three, seven of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing the four of sword. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Magician. So what I'm seeing here, what does your person want to say to you? So I feel like your person want to tell you that First of all, this could be your ex. This person is your ex. So whoever this person is, this person is your ex. Like you are not with this person, you are not together. So what your person, like your ex, want to say to you is, they know that they messed up, that they betrayed your feeling, and they also want to tell you that 
they also know that you are their counterpart their divine feminine they want to tell you right now that they are going through um whatever happened between the both of you and that they see their error they see they are wrong they see where they're wrong where they are wrong they want to tell you that if they could do this all over again that this time that they will do it right that they really want celebration with you they want to tell you that they miss you they miss you uh, they want to tell you that right now they can't come forward they can't come towards you because they feel like they don't deserve you after all they have done to you they want to tell you that right now that they are focused on themselves they are focused on growing themselves spiritually they are focused on their money they are trying to put things together in your life this person wants to tell you that you're very beautiful they see like this person is very attracted to you this person wants to tell you that they are trying to manifest fortune into their life they feel like that way they could that way when they come into your life they could provide for you and build something stable with you this person also wants to tell you that you're always in their heart that they love you that when they sleep at night that they dream about you this person wants to tell you that they still dream of you they still see you in their dream like if they had the chance or uh, the opportunity again they won't have let you go this person wants to tell you that they think about you day and night that you were always in their mind day and night even while they are at work that they kept thinking about you they want to tell you that they know they hurt you they betray you i feel like i'm getting the energy of um apology like if this person could reach out to you they will practically apologize to you and say sorry for everything that they have done if this person what this person what this person want to say to you is that if they could take back the hands of time that they wouldn't have let you go they would have literally begged you to stay with them hmm. your person i'm the, the person i'm seeing here your person have a short hair <clears throat> they are well built like they are not on the on the fat side they are not on the slim side like the person is 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 built this person might go to the gym a lot they, they have a very sexy body and um a very beautiful eye yeah i feel like your person could be um fair and you could be um black like a person could be fair and you could be black yeah i feel like the both of you work out a lot you do a lot of things together some of you might attend dancing class together mm. um, what your person want to say to you this person want to tell you that they are obsessed with you that they look at your picture every day that they still have it that they still have your um, your picture with them that they look at every day sometimes this person wants to tell you that this sometimes they sleep they sleep with your picture this they fall asleep looking at their picture and then when they sleep they dream of you they see you in their in their dream and they remember all the good times that you let's have together hmm. this person wants to tell you that they were sorry that they didn't fight for this relationship that they didn't fight for this relationship yeah they want to tell you that they are sorry that they didn't fight for this relationship they wish they had fought for this relationship this person wants to tell you that they still have you in mind and they hope that in future the both of you can be together mm. 
Yeah. This person is saying that you know in their heart that you are their person, that you are meant for them. But right now that they are focusing on themselves right now, on their spiritual growth and they are focusing on their um, money as well. That when the time is right, that the both of you will be together in divine timing. Okay, that is all for part one. So that is what your person wants to say to you. If you like this video, you're free to subscribe. Subscribing is free. Subscribe to see more video. Let's move on to the next. Let's move on to part two. So for those of you that pick part two, the blue stone, let's see what your person wants to say to you. So let me keep this here. Keep it here. So I've not seen this card. So as I'm turning it over, as you're seeing, that is the same time I'm seeing. So let's see. I have messages here from your person. So I'm going to keep it here and spread this card first. Part two, my name is Sally. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. So let's see what is in your card. Part two. Let's see. We have prosperity lies ahead. We have um, movement from a magic oracle. We have number 15 from um, Gilded Limonade Oracle. Then for the tarot, let's see what the tarot has here. From the tarot, we have... Um, The Wheel of Fortune, from the Tarot we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, okay, let's see what's in your card, let's see what's in this card for you, let me move this aside, how to, let's see what's in this card for you. Here, so we have obsession. I think by one have obsession. So we have gifts. We have gossip. We have I want a family with you. We have. We have, and um, we have for financial reasons. We have friends with benefit. We have, I'm still healing from the past. And we have, my parents would approve of you. <sighs> so let's see about two. What does your person want to say to you? So I first of all, I feel like this is uh, this is someone that this is someone that you are with currently. Like I'm not getting any um vibe of separation here. But I, even if if some of you are in separation, that means it's very few of you, but I'm not getting I say few of you are in separation here, yeah, not everybody. So what does your person want to say to you, pal number two? Mm. So let's go over the sign. You might be dealing with the Taurus. Let's go Capricorn. There is new Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune and the sign, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> what does your person want to say to you? So your person wants to say to you that they really want to move this relationship forward, but they are just afraid that 
their parents will not approve of you. So what I'm getting here is that the both of you could be from different country, different social status, different background, different religious belief. So that's what I'm getting here. So your person wants to tell you that they really want to move things forward with you. But they're afraid that their parents might not approve of you. This person also wants to tell you that they are still healing from past relationship, some past pain and some hurt in their life. They are still trying to heal. This person wants to tell you that they are really obsessed with you, that they want a family with you. <laughs> I felt like this person, this relationship with this with your person started as friends with benefits when you and this person met it was nothing serious but over time this the relationship grew into something stable yeah the relationship grew i feel like with this pie there are people in your person's ear telling him all sorts of things about you everybody around them is, is giving them their own opinion about you so and this person is afraid they want to tell that they are afraid of other people's opinion about you <laughs> this could be like um a same sex relationship or there's just something different about you that this person is worried about it could be your social status i see five of pentacles yeah i feel like it's your social i feel like you this person is from a, a, a very wealthy family or they are from a family that is well known and i feel like you on, on the other hand you are you're not you're not from a well-to-do family maybe yours in your family your, your people are struggling with money um this person is thinking about how their family will feel if they want to marry you or be with you so that is what i'm getting here i feel like this person what they want to say to you for some of you i'm getting this person wants to say to you that they want to move this relationship forward but right now they don't have the finances to give you um that financial security that you need and they want to tell you to be patient that they believe that things are going to turn out fine that luck is on their side for some of you they want to tell you that they have a lot of responsibility that they have right now and right now that they they wish that they have a lot of responsibility right now and they can't move things with you forward right now and they they wish that you will wait for them and be patient with them mm. For some of you, this person wants to tell you that you are a gift from above to them, that the divine sent you to their life as a gift, as a blessing. Hmm. For some of you, yeah, if your person is with someone else right now, I feel like they are with that person for financial reasons. That is what they want to say to you. If your person is involved with someone else or if your person is with someone else they want to say to you that they are with that person for financial reasons there is some, some if they are in another connection then there is some financial reasons attached to that connection yeah hmm. I feel like there's some gossip going on about your person that are not true. There's some gossip going on about 
your person that I'm not sure. So I'm hearing from your person that whatever you're hearing about them are not true. I don't know what that might be, but I just sense that there's gossip going around. So your person is telling you now that whatever you're hearing from people are not true. Or some people might be gossiping about you to your person as well. Some people are giving their opinion about your connection. So your person wants to tell you that they want a family with you, but right now they are not yet financially secure. For some of you, your person is saying they are not yet financially secure to offer you the Ten of Pentacles right now. That they can't offer you that right now. Some of you, your person wants to tell you that they have a lot of responsibility right now. Your person could be responsible for someone else. Financially, yeah. Your person could be responsible for someone else financially. Mm -hmm. If not with someone else, if your person is with someone else, they want to tell you that it's nothing serious. It's nothing serious, yeah. If your person is with someone else, they want to tell you that that relationship, um, whatever relationship they are in, it's not serious that they are with that person with mo because of the money. Because I'm saying here, and we have a financial reason and friends will benefit. So it could be with someone for financial reasons. <sighs> so, so some of you that pick part to your person might be sending you gifts. Some kind of financial gifts or flowers. Anytime soon. So it's a gift from your person. And they're really obsessed with you. Yeah. I find your person is asking you to be patient. Part two. The person is asking you to be patient with them. The person is asking you to be patient. That things are going to change. Very soon. And they are going to move things forward with you. Alright, that is all I'm getting for part two. Let's move on to part three. Part two, if you like this reading, please hit the subscribe button. Comment down below how you feel about the reading. I like to read comment. So let's move on to part number three. Hello, part three. I'm Sally. So if you pick part three, let's see what does your person want to say to you. So let's see. I'm going to put this down here. So let's see. So we have, I have uh, messages from your person here, what they want to say. So let's keep it here. Let's keep it aside. So we have a monology. We have nothing is yesterday set in stone. From Air Magic, we have Solitude. From Lemonade Oracle, we have um, the Cajun Key. From Tarot, we have the Moon. <clears throat> we have the Judgment. And we have the word, wow, three major, three major arcanas. Let's move it aside to create space for the messages. So I see from this card messages from your person, we have you are so beautiful. We have I miss you. We have you make my heart leap for joy. <clears throat> I want to be the reason for your smile and happiness. You are like two socks of a pair. <clears throat> I have other responsibility. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. We have perspective. We have blockage and delay, stroke delay. 
and we have mv mv so so let's see what does a person <clears throat> want to say to you <clears throat> file number three so first of all your person wants to tell you they miss you and they also want to tell you that you're so beautiful and whenever they are with you you make them really happy i feel like right now you and this person are not on speaking terms the both of you are not talking it's not like the relationship ended but the both of you are just distance seeing yourself from each other doing your own things So with, I want to be the reason for your smile and happiness. I feel like this person really did something wrong in the past that they are beginning to realize now. And they want to bring more happiness into that situation. Hmm. I feel like this person is taking their time to think about this connection. What they want to say to you is that they are taking their time to think about this connection. They are not sure. This person, what they want to say to you, they want to say to you that they are not sure what they want from this connection. They are going within what they, what your person file number three. What your person will say to you is that they are going within to really think about this connection. Yeah. They are going within to really think about this connection and to think about what they really want from this connection. Really, I miss you. I feel like the both of you are apart, like not broken up, but just doing your own thing. This person wants a new beginning with you. They want a new cycle with you, but they are faking their time to think about it. They are thinking about it too much that is causing delay in this connection. What would your person want to say to you, pal number three? So this person who wants to say to you basically like that, they know that the both of you belong together. They know that the both of you belong together. But I feel like this person, you could be dealing with an egg sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person could be a fix. It could have be a fixed sign because this person takes their time they think about whatever they want to do they go back and forth and make sure it's the right thing so what your person wants to say to you is that they are faking their time to think about this connection they want to be sure if they are doing the right thing because right now if this person what this person wants to say to you they want to tell you that they have feelings for you they love you, they want to be there for you, they want to protect you, they want to make you happy, but they also want to be sure if you are the right person for them, that they are faking their time to think about this connection. When the, with the envy card here, I feel like what this person wants to say to you is that they envy your ability to make a um, decision like it's very easy for you to make decision i feel like making decision is a very difficult thing for this person this person could be a gemini libra aquarius but making a decision is very difficult for this person and they envy the fact that 
you could just go within yourself and make your own decision they envy that about you Hmm. what this person will say to you is that they know that you have put in any a lot of work into this connection that you have worked very hard to build this relationship to grow this relationship but they still have to be sure if you are the right person for them If this person wants to say anything to you, they will tell you that they feel like this connection is too good to be true. And they really, really, really need to think about it and be sure before they commit to you. So that's what I'm getting for pound number three. If this reading resonates with you, please subscribe. Subscribing is free. Comment down below and let me know. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye. Let's move on to power four. The last but not the least. So for those that pick power number four, the transparent stone, let's see. What does your person want to say? So let's see power number four. Oh, number four, let's see. So, I have some messages here for you from your person. Let's keep it aside. So, we have mm -hmm, monology. From monology, we have belief in the impossible. From eight magic, we have nurturing. From Gilded, we have message number 27. So from Tarot, we have um, the Hangman. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have a Page of Cups. So let's see what's here for you. We have Celebration. We have hope. We have lies. We have I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I want to travel the world with you. I'm so afraid of losing you. I can't be able to see you with someone else. My heart belongs to you. I'm sorry for how I treated you. Okay, so this is another message from someone that you are not talking to right now. So this is another message from someone you are not communicating with you're not talking to right now so power number four what does your person want to say to you first and foremost this person wants to apologize they want to say sorry for how they have treated you and they also want to tell you that they still love you that's why i guess so you and this person could talk about traveling a lot, I traveling the world, visiting places. So I feel like they want to tell you that they still want to do that with you. And this person wants to tell you how lucky they are to have you in their life. I feel like this person wants to tell you that they are still hopeful, that they still hope for this connection. They are still hopeful that you guys could get to be an item again. So number 27 might mean something to you. So expect messages from this person on the 27th. They might contact you on the 27th of this month. So you might unexpectedly hear from this person. 
I feel like we just believe in the impossible. I feel like you won't. It's going to be very shocking when this person will contact you. This person wants to tell you they are sorry for how they have treated you. They want to apologize. This person could write you a letter apologizing or send you a first message apologizing to you, telling you how sorry they've acted. This person could be younger than you. Yeah, your person could be younger than you. The person could be. This person wants to tell you that they are, con they are thinking about confessing you, sending you a message to say they are sorry. Mm. This person wants to tell you that they appreciate the fact that you are very caring to that you were very caring towards them, that they see you as a wifey material. They want to thank you for being so stable, uh -huh. being so stable and being so grounded. Yeah, they want to thank you for being caring towards them, not showing towards them. Mm. I feel like this person told you some lies in the past, and now they are thinking about those lies, and they be like, "Why did I tell these lies? Because I don't feel this is a big lie here." They lied to you, and you found out, and it hurts your feeling. This person wants to tell you that they want to be there for you when you celebrate. They want to be here in your in your happiness but in sad and happy times this person wants to tell you that they feel like they are losing you they feel like they are losing you and that they can't be able to see you with someone else they want to tell you that they are afraid of losing you and they can't be able to see you with someone else this person wants to tell you that they they are afraid that you might do the things that the both of you talked about doing that you might do it with someone else and it's making them really jealous and envious this person could be an eight sign the water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio if we're doing that eight sign the rest of the capricorn a water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio So this person wants to tell you that they still have hope for this connection. They still have hope for this connection that everything is going, <coughs> going to be fine between the both of you. This person wants to tell you that they want to fix things between the both of you. Basically what I'm getting here is <coughs> appreciation from this person. This person appreciates you a lot for all the good for all the good things you have done for them and they appreciate you for the good human being that you are they appreciate you for who you are you could be 27 your person could be 27 but 27 is a significant number for the both of you <clears throat> this person wants to tell you that you're still in their heart that their heart belongs to you and no one else like you are the queen of their heart that is what they want to say to you that you are the queen of their heart you hold a special place they want to tell you that you hold a special place in their heart they want to tell you that they are sorry for the lies they want to tell you not to leave to stay with them they want to tell you that they are sorry that they don't want to lose you they are really thinking of confessing you and this is going to be very shocking for you. So part four, that is all I have for you. If this really resonates with you, like, subscribe, subscription is free, comment down below. See you in my next video. Bye.